what is an action in WordPress? An action will let you the function's standard operations. It does so by transforming WordPress data and doing something with it. Actions may display a promotional message on a page, active a plugin, add extra widgets to a sidebar, post content, or add a menu to the header. They might also send an email to the author following the publications of a piece, load a custom script in the footer, or provide instructions on how to complete an online form. The add action function can be used to create actions. WordPress has several functions that allow you to use actions, but these are the ones that are most often utilized. You can find these actions details in description box as well. I have explained here uh, to add action. This function will add, a, add an action to a, specific, a specified WordPress event. Do action. This function is used to launch an action. It will run the functions associated with the action. Has action. This function checks whether an action has been registered for a particular event. Remove action. This function will remove an action from a specified event. Functions for working with actions. In order to work with WordPress actions, you need to be familiar with the functions that are used to register, launch, and remove them. These functions are listed below. Find the description box for all these details. Add actions. This function adds an action to be a specified WordPress event. It takes two arguments, the name of the action hook and the name of the function to be called when the hook is triggered. Do action. This function is used to launch an action. It takes one argument, the name of the action hook. Has action. This function checks whether an action has been registered for a particular event. It takes two arguments, the name of the action hook and the name of the function to be called when the hook is triggered. Remove action. The function will remove an action from a specified event. It takes two arguments, the name of the action hook and the name of the function to be called when the hook is triggered. How to use WordPress actions? Now that you know what WordPress actions are and how they work, let's look at how you can use them on your website. First, you must decide what event you want to trigger your action. For our example, we will use the init hook triggered when WordPress initializes. Next, you need to create a function for your action. This function can be anything you want it to be. For our example, we are going to create a simple function that displays a message on the screen. Once you have created your functions, you need to register it with WordPress using the add action function. This function takes two arguments, the hook's name and the function's name. In our example, we would use the following code. Let's say add underscore action, small brackets open in single quote, I N I T, single quote, close, comma, single quote, opens, M Y underscore function, single quote, close, again, a small bracket, close, and semicolon. Finally, you need to trigger your action using the do underscore action and action sign functions. This function takes one argument, the name of the hook. 
in our example, we would use the following code do underscore action, see a small bracket open in the single quote, open, write I N I T single quote, close, a small bracket, close, and semicolon. And that's it. When WordPress initializes, our message will be displayed on the screen. Acton are powerful tool that can be used to alter the way WordPress works. What are hooks? A hook is a point in the code at which you can insert your code. WordPress has two types of hooks, action and filters. Action hooks allows you to insert your code at a specific points in the WordPress code. For example, you could use an action hook to display a message on the screen or to send an email after a post has been published. Filter hooks allows you to alter data that WordPress has generated. For example, you could use a filter hook to change how a post is displayed on the screen or add extra information to the RSS feed. Both actions and filter hooks can be found throughout the WordPress code base. In fact, there are over 50 action hooks and 30 filter hooks built into WordPress. While action and filter hooks are similar, they are they serve different purposes. For example, action hooks allows you to insert your code while filter hooks allows you to alter data. What are filters? Filters are a type of hooks or type of hook that allows you to alter data. WordPress has two types of filters. First, pre underscore get underscore posts. And second one, the underscore content. Pre underscore get underscore posts filters allows you to alter the main query object before executing it. For example, you could use this filter to change the number of posts displayed on the home page or exclude certain categories from the main query. The underscore content filter allows you to alter the content of a post before it is displayed on the screen. For example, you could use this filter to add a read more link to the end of each post or to display an advertisement before the post content. Both pre underscore get underscore post and the underscore content filters are located in the WordPress code base. In fact, there are over 50 filters built into WordPress. While filters are similar to actions, they serve different purpose. For example, filters allows you to alter data while actions will enable you to insert your code. Thanks for watching.